friends, welcome back to the Wade Fishing Experience. I appreciate y'all tuning in today. We got a cool episode. I am out with my buddy John from Faith and Fishing. I will link his channel down below, but John was kind enough to let me borrow one of his yaks today. So folks, we are out in the kayak. This is the first kayak episode on the channel, so I am super pumped. We are out um, this morning looking for redfish, snook, and trout. We've got about three dozen live shrimp, half a dozen pins, and artificials. So we are just gonna work it and look for a slam, y'all. Stay tuned, we're gonna have a good time. Alrighty, my friends, gonna start out throwing the Spook Junior from Hedden. I have replaced the treble hooks with inline hooks at uh, the suggestion of my friend Wader Dave. It is easier on the fish and easier on the angler. So let's see if we can't get something on top water. Y'all, this is so weird being in the yak and fishing. I, yeah, I can't really explain it. I have not done, ooh, there's a little bite. I have not done a lot of fishing out of a yak. I have never been in a pedal drive kayak to fish. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is quite the adventure for me. So catching a fish will be a bonus. I think we will get on them eventually. Um, but yeah, it's just a different ball game out here, y'all. All right, I'm gonna rig up this gold digger, three and a half inch paddle tail from Salt Strong. So let's try this one out. Got that going on a twist lock hook here from owner, just like that. Perfect. Oh, there we go. There we go, John. Nice. Oh, chop, popped him off. I think that was a trout. Let's see if we can stand up in this thing. Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. We sit down. <laughs> so that's probably right on slot. 22 and a half. Oh, 22 and a half. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Very cool, man. Yeah. Um, all right, I'm ready to switch to live bait. I haven't got any hits on shrimp. 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 Yep. Course. Okay. Yeah. Um, you're, so you're on the fence about keeping him? I'm thinking to keep him. Yeah, I would. I mean, yeah. it's perfect eater size. If yeah. you're going to keep a red, that's a... So, like, I just know we catch multiple a lot of times. Uh... So start getting to 25. It's a little bit thicker. So yep. Keep yeah, right on. I'm not going to gamble. Congrats, man. Nice catch. Thanks, man. Yeah. All right, I'm switching to live bait, y'all. All right, my friends. We are going to live bait. So I've switched over to a Carolina rig uh, with a two aught owner live bait hook and 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. Uh, we got a live shrimp on there now. We've also got the pins, like I said, I've got three right now. I'll probably, um, probably cut them so we can get two baits out of each and just use a piece of cut bait. Uh, yeah, so stay tuned and we're gonna get on the live bait. That was a nice red that John caught, 22 incher. That one went into the cooler, y'all. So let's see if we can't repeat that. Hey man, we gotta get a fish for me, but you know what happened when I took you out, your first wade fishing trip. It's in my mind, man, like I can't. <laughs> I gotta get him on fish. I gotta get him on fish. Where's that line going? You guys, I'm an idiot and didn't notice that my bait bucket had come un attached from the yak. And now we gotta go chase it down. But thankfully, John with the eagle eye just spotted it. So we're gonna go track it down. See if I can get this on the first approach here. Okay, <laughs> crisis averted for now. Well, I wasn't even filming y'all because I didn't know I had anything. But we got us a trout. We got us a trout. All right. First, first fish from the yak. Not a bad little trout there, y'all. But he is too small to keep, so we will get rid of him and get him back. All right, there he goes, you guys. Thanks for the catch, buddy. 
All right, y'all. So John just gave us the lowdown on one of his favorite spots. He's gonna let me fish it, which is awesome. So we're gonna try to get a redfish back here in this little cove. Um, I'm gonna anchor up and just uh, float some cut bait. I see mullet, I don't, there we go. Nope, dropped it. Thank you, mate. John's got another big red on y'all. I can't catch a damn thing. I'm on. I'm on y'all. I'm on with something finally. That's not tiny. But unfortunately, not sure it's anything good either. Let's see, what do we got here? Yep, of course, a freaking catfish. catfish? Of course. I didn't know they. Oh shoot! What did I just do, John? Probably a cat. Huh? Probably a catfish. Probably, or you can tell. I can't tell yet, but I think it is. I think it is. Right by that. Uh, right by the uh, no wake sign. Oh. Well, at least it gave me practice catching fish from the yak. If nothing else. Yeah, old kitty catter. Let him wear himself out here a little bit. I don't touch the catfish, man. I don't like to. Like literally the, the last the one I just caught. I, I cut it. He, he ate it. He followed it. I'll just bring it around to the around the front. You don't have to get it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Alrighty, my friends, that's going to do it for today's episode. I appreciate y'all tuning in. We struggled today in the kayak, but had a great time and big shout out to John for um, letting me use his yak and uh, just showing me the ropes of how to fish from a yak. Um, definitely something I'm not used to. We are on the troll right now trying to pick something up on the way back. But other than that, um, we'll see you next time on the Wade Fishing Experience. Cheers, y'all.